Today's creative prompt is inspired by Azulejos, the pattern tile artwork that you see all over Portugal. These are pictures from back when I could still travel in Lisbon. Um, so what I really love about this prompt in particular is that you can mix and match different tiles and uh, create all sorts of different repeat patterns. So I'm going to start off with a sheet of colored sugar paper. I just added a few brush strokes to add extra texture, but other than that, it's just plain colored paper. You could use construction paper. And I'm just folding it into quarters here and cutting it down to a square of eight centimeters by eight centimeters. And now I'm going to draw a few guidelines to help me draw a symmetrical pattern. So I'm connecting the corners and drawing across down the center. And I'm going to start drawing geometrical shapes. It, this part is kind of reminiscent of um, the snowflakes that you might make around Christmas uh, where you fold the sheet of paper up and then cut out different shapes. Um, the guidelines are really there so that you can see um, exactly what is supposed to be mirrored. Uh, when you're trying to draw shapes that are symmetrical, I find it really useful to spin your paper around and look at it from all angles. For some reason, looking at something upside down will help you see right away what isn't symmetrical. And now I'm going to be cutting out the shapes of all four um, sheets of folded paper here. Uh, with an X-Acto knife. Um, be careful while you're doing it, obviously. I usually use my pinky, as you can see here, to um, as an extra support. Uh, that way, especially with uh, curvy angles, I can use the X-Acto knife kind of like a compass. And so once you've cut out all of the separate shapes, we're going to cut down our tiles into separate squares. So I'm just cutting them out into the four squares. Okay, so now we have the four squares ready. So now that I've finished with the foreground, we can move on to the background. Here I'm using a magazine clipping, but it would look really cool with newspaper, or a map, a family photo, maybe a menu. Uh, and I'm going to check what I want to show up through the little windows that you cut out and just draw the outline of my tiles so that I can find the positioning easily when I glue them later. And now I'm going to prepare the back of the tiles with just a bit of glue stick. Uh, here, I kind of opted for a plain foreground and pattern background, but you could also try inversing that and uh, using a really colorful, cool um, paper for the portion where the shapes are cut out and then use maybe a plain background as well. That would also look nice. Once all four of your squares are glued on and the glue has dried, you can go ahead and cut them out. Here I'm using a ruler and an X-Acto knife to be a bit quicker and more precise, but you can go uh, straight at it with scissors as well. And now that all four tiles have been cut down to size, the paper portion is finished and all that's left to do is add some decoration. I think the decoration here really makes all the difference. Um, I encourage you to um, look at pictures of azulejos or zulij tiles and kind of uh, get some inspiration for the different shapes. I'm going to be adding a few uh, small dots and circles of paint and make sure that everything that you add on is symmetrical, so if it's on one side of the tile, that it's also on the others. Remember the axis that we drew at the beginning, and then copy those onto the three remaining tiles. Um, you can add paint, uh, normal marker paint like this, or puffy paint, stickers. I also did one version with embroidery, which is great to add a little bit of a three-dimensional aspect. For tips on how to do that, check out my embroidery on mixed media tutorial and then have fun making tiles of a few different colors and alternating them to see how many different types of patterns that you can create. So you can have kind of like a living artwork that you can switch up whenever you get bored of it. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Uh, post your pictures on Instagram and tag me. And until then, stay home, stay safe, and stay creative.